Hey everyone, welcome back to another Behind the Build episode. Today we're gonna to be doing the Lego City Police Prison Island. Very excited for this set. Now this is set 60419, coming in at 980 pieces for ages eight and up. It looks like we get seven minifigures, we get a dog, we get a crab, and we get a shark. Maybe we can get two sharks, I don't know. We at least get one, at least that's what it shows on the box. Uh, we also get to build a little boat, uh, we get to build a police boat, and a police helicopter. So I'm gonna take you through this set bag by bag. I may not stop after every bag, but every few bags, I'll let you know what I like and what I don't like and kind of where we stand in the overall build. And then once everything is all done, I will give you my full comprehensive review. This is gonna be a fun set. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into it and start building. All right, so we just finished up with the first four bags. In bag one, we build the police boat. We also build a prisoner minifigure, and then we have a police officer who drives the boat, and then we also have a shark. Now, the boat itself, pretty straightforward and basic, um, especially for a set kind of like of this many pieces. The bottom mold part of the boat uh, just comes as one piece, and then we pretty much just build the interior up. One thing I really like about this boat is the yellow highlighter pieces. Like this color just really pops and just, I don't know, adds a nice little element to, to what could just be a police boat. In the back, we do have two little motors or engines, but they're almost like jets. I think they did a nice job with those just with a couple of pieces. Then moving on to bags two, three, and four, we build the left side of the prison. And uh, there's a lot of detail in here, a, a really lot of detail. Um, first off, we get two minifigures and a dog. The dog has a little printed piece. You can tell it's a police dog. And then we have a prisoner with pink hair, comes with handcuffs, and then we have a bearded prisoner as well. Moving on to the left part of the prison, you can see we have a shark warning sign. We have what I think is a life preserver there, a plant, we have a crab. And then there's a staircase. Also the, the prison door, the jail door. I love how the cell door opens just back and forth. I think that's a, that's a really nice touch there. Then on top, you can see we have the helipad. And again, we get those neon yellow pieces, which I really, really like. Looking inside the jail cell, you can see we have the cell itself. We build a, a toilet, we have a mug. There's a couple of stickered pieces on the inside. Uh, one cool thing that I really like is you get to build the beds and then the beds themselves flip up. So if you flip up the bottom bed, there's actually a map and it's kind of like the escape map for the prisoners. Moving over here, we actually have a dog bed with a dog bone and then going down into the basement, we build this little cart and it looks like it's something that there's like a little crystal or something in the basement and uh, maybe it's just like a, uh, a little track to, to move those in and out. We also have some dynamite down there and we have a huge spider web with a spider. Now we're gonna move on to the rest of the bags. I may jump in one more time before this set is complete. If not, I'll just go through the rest of the bags and then I'll give you my full comprehensive review. So let's keep building. All right, so we just finished up with bags five, six, seven, and eight. And as you can see in bag five, we ended up building the police helicopter and we also get a police helicopter pilot. Really like what they did here. It's it's very consistent with the uh, police boat. I really like the, the neon uh, highlighter yellow parts. Such a nice little touch. And we even have some sirens in the back here. On the tail, we have a police logo. Then in bags six, seven, and eight, we ended up building the right side of the prison. And you can see that there are some pieces here where it's going to be joined together with the left side. On the front, I really like what they did with the stairs. It's just 
they're really kind of crooked and jagged so they're they're made out of stone and they it kind of gives that look also on the front we have a little foliage we have another shark sign but then you see the sewer and so that's where a prisoner could escape and then we even have uh like a tree or a leaf as as if that would like kind of hide the sewer or something so it's almost like a little bit of camouflage now looking at the jail cell from the back you can see we actually have a basketball hoop i wasn't really sure what it was at first but we have a little basketball here and then you can see the hoop we also have some barbed wire on the top and a uh, video camera as well but then we have this trap door that you can open up and that's where the prisoner would slide down the tube and be able to come out the other end so that, that's pretty cool then we also have what looks to be sort of like an office uh there's a, a wanted poster some handcuffs on the wall but then there's even like a bulletin board it has some donuts on it and everything so i thought that was kind of funny now in the basement you're gonna see we actually have a pistol we have a green frog and then we also have what looks to be a washing machine now there's really not much else in the basement um i guess you could maybe store the boat in there or something uh, now bag nine is the last bag of this set we're gonna build the tower i believe it's gonna just kind of go right here uh, i don't think it's gonna take very long so let's go ahead let's build that let's finish this set up and then i'll give you my full review Well, we just finished up with bag number nine. The set is now complete. The tower has been built and added to the set. I also combined the right and left side together. Um, some of the details inside the tower are also really cool. There's a there's a bunch of food. It looks like we have an apple, maybe. Um, we got a croissant. Uh, we got some coffee. Then they do a nice job with the computer. And then also we have uh, a donut sitting up there too. I also really like the top and the front of the tower. We have these kind of three viewing windows. We have two big floodlights, and then we have kind of like a radar and satellite dish with some antennas. You know, it's for ages seven and up, and I will emphasize the and up on that because one thing I really enjoyed about this set is it wasn't too hard, but there was some substance to it. It wasn't just like a, a simple little easy set that you could just put together quickly. Like there's a lot of detail, there's a lot of thought. I love the boat and the helicopter. Even the small boat is, is pretty cool. You, I feel like you get a lot with this set for the amount that you pay for, which I think was about $100 or so. So I hope you enjoyed this behind the build video. Hopefully it helped you out a little bit, maybe uh, on deciding whether you wanna pick it up for yourself or one of your kids. Uh, you know, I, I think it's a great set and, and I highly recommend it, especially I think it comes in at really good value. Let me know what you think of the video below. Let me know if you built this set and what you thought of it. Uh, do you wish they would have done some things different? Were you expecting something more or did this exceed your expectation? If you like this behind the build video or you like speed build videos, definitely check out my channel and give me a like and subscribe. I got plenty of content on there and I have plenty more on the way. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.